Hey, what's going on? In this video, I just wanna share with you a little bit about some of the things that, whoa, that I've learned about, um, about being yourself on camera and not necessarily editing everything out that feels imperfect. So let's jump straight in. Being yourself on camera uh, isn't always easy. It's not like the most intuitive thing because you're pretty much just talking to a thing you're holding. And usually if you're talking to somebody, you're not holding them in your hand. And I think that uh, it can be kind of odd to essentially talk to an object. And so one of the first things that I do, I'm sure you've heard it before, is just imagine somebody on the other side of the lens. Um, the lens is actually this nice little round sort of eyeball shape. And so I like to just imagine it being someone's eye and I'm making eye contact, <sighs> making eye contact with the lens. And uh, that does pretty good. a lot of wildlife out today. There was geese up by the pond and there's actually a deer staring right at me. Ooh, he's running away. <laughs> he's so cute. So one of the things I think people struggle with quite a bit when they're on camera is just being over aware of their body. And you can, actually, you kind of get two kinds of people. You get people who, I'm gonna stop, let's stop here. All right, so what I was saying was, you get two kinds of people and you really are one or the other and essentially you, you become over aware of either your body or the delivery of the content you wanna share. And so if you're the person that's on camera, you're either thinking, I gotta say this line, I gotta say it exactly like this, or you kind of feel uncomfortable with your shirt or your hands, you don't know what to do with stuff, you don't know if your face looks funny or your hair looks weird. And I think a lot of times practice can help overcome a lot of these things, but for some people, you don't get a lot of practice. You get one shot, they show up and you gotta record them. So one of the things that I suggest to do here is essentially become more aware of the thing that you're less aware of. So if you're over aware of your body, become more aware of the content, the things that you're sharing. If you're over aware of the things you're, you're sharing and whatnot, just become more aware of how you're standing and some of that kind of stuff. A lot of this just comes down to being comfortable and giving it a shot. One of the best things you can do for people is to just let them know that one take is never realistic. So if they mess up or they say something wrong, that's okay. So anyways, let's keep going because crouching like this is making my leg cramp up. So let's roll. I do not feel this old at 29 years old, but Sometimes I just do. My joints, my joints hurt. Okay, so what I was actually trying to say, and I didn't get this phrase out, but I use this phrase a lot, is to try to become centered and not necessarily focus on being balanced. So for instance, balance can look a little bit like this, and you could be stretched out one way and the other, but you can't necessarily hold that for too long, and you're very aware of where your weight stands. But centered, actually means that you are aligned. And so centered is essentially the place that you arrive when you're warmed up, you're comfortable, you're not overthinking anything, and you're not underthinking anything. And so that is really the sweet spot. Okay, so like I said, um, being centered and not balanced is way more important. And one of the best ways to do this is to just make sure that whether you're the person on camera or you're talking to someone who is on camera, is to just make a statement about the time that it is. So if you're setting stuff up, let that be time for setting stuff up. If it's time to record or time to warm up, just say, hey, we're gonna warm up a little bit, or let's go ahead and record now. Whatever makes you or your talent comfortable on camera is what you gotta do. It's not a science, it's really an art. So becoming yourself, being authentic, being the best version of you on camera is, like I said, it's an art. So you'll just practice, you'll work at it, and eventually you'll get it. Hey, so the last thing is, if you enjoy this video, share it with a friend that might enjoy it, that might help them. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.